example one. So let's do a script scan related to HTTP. First, we'll do a port 80 scan on the current network. So we'll turn on virtual machines that we have installed, open VirtualBox, open Kali Linux, 10.0.2.15, open Metasploitable, 10.0.2.4, open Ubuntu, 10.0.2.7, open Windows 7, 10.0.2.6, and log in to Kali Linux VMs. Username root, password tour, open terminal, and write this command. nmap 10.0.2.0 slash 24 p80, press enter. Okay, so here are the scan results. And one of the machines that we found is Metasploitable, 10.0.2.4. So let's check out what scripts we have. So go to the command line, locate, asterisk, dot NSE, pipe, grep, HTTP. And let's look at the results. So we can scan all of these scripts by using them, or you can use them one by one. So in this example, let's run an HTTP brute scan. On the command line, enter nmap 10.0.2.4 script HTTP brute and press enter. So if we want to look at what is in the script, we can write leafpad user share nmap scripts HTTP brute.nse. Then when we open the script file, we can see all of the commands used and the explanations put in by the person who wrote the script. And if you want to get just about half, <laughs> then just type nmap crypt script help http brute.nse and press enter. So here you can review it by clicking on the link on the internet NSE doc. The scan results will be listed as follows. Now, if we want to crawl using all the scripts related to HTTP, Go to the command line, nmap 10.0.2.4, script HTTP, asterisk, press enter. But I'll be honest with you, this command can take a long time to run, because nmap will try all of the HTTP scripts in sequence.